What's up guys? So I am here at Alon Aesthetics in Hyde Park, Tampa, Florida. Um, I am headed in to go get the Fatana 4D laser treatment. It's a three series treatment. You go every 90 days and then 90 days after the last series is when I should see my natural, like my full results. Um, so yeah, I'm going to document the whole journey. This is what I look like right now with uh, no makeup, no moisturizers, just bare skin. So I will take some before pictures and then share hopefully what it'll look like after and hopefully there'll be a nice subtle result to just keep maintaining and taking care of my skin and making sure that it doesn't get out of control before it's a lot difficult to improve it. So here we go. Is it typically painful or does it feel no, like No, I've actually hair? had it. It's not yeah. more of a laser. It's okay. not one of those like, like Morpheus actually um, is probably the most painful one that we have. Yeah, I've never done it, but I just... So that was one I was considering too, but then after like looking at it, I was like, I don't know if I need all of that. Yeah, everybody, not everybody is a candidate for that. Yeah. Um, I would rate it like a six on the pain scale, but I just do not tolerate pain well at all. Um, it literally felt like they were starting my face on fire. So yeah, about a six. It's doable, but I would say microblading is worse. Microblading and getting your lips done hands down, worst pain I've ever felt. So it's not as bad as that. It was a lot more tolerable, but yeah. This is immediately after. I'm a little red. Did my neck, so we shall see. Good morning. It is my second treatment for the Fatana laser. So I am headed to a lawn right now to go get it done. I feel like maybe a tad tighter. I'm interested in seeing some pictures to compare, but I'm not really sure how much of a difference it's made yet. But again, you're supposed to do three rounds of it every month or every four to six weeks. And this is only my second, so I still have another one after this. Yeah, so it is bright and early, fresh face, no makeup, no moisturizer, I have absolutely nothing on. I'm curious, hopefully they take pictures again so I can compare each round. But yeah, see.
So this is my last one. This is how I'm gonna start healing. So for the second one, I didn't use the biogel very much and I peeled so bad and I felt like the healing was a lot worse than the first time. This time, I'm gonna make sure that I use that biogel really well, twice a day, morning and night. And yeah, hopefully I just don't peel as bad or get as red. I feel like I look okay today, a little redness. But yeah, so this is the first day. It's about 24 hours now after. And yeah, I'll just keep doing an update and then I have uh, a picture appointment to go back to a lawn and do a six week follow up to do pictures and then we'll compare those before and after. So hopefully, I feel like looking in the mirror and seeing myself every day, I don't really notice a huge change yet, but I'm hoping it's just because I see my face every day. I'm hoping when I look at those pictures, it will all have been worth it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a very expensive journey to go on and not have anything change. So let's see. <laughs> so today is the day of my follow-up appointment. It has been six weeks after my last session of the Fatana laser. So today I'm just running in really quick, taking pictures, and then we're gonna compare the before and after and see how much it changed. Um, so the lighting here is absolutely terrible, but um, this is just waking up. I'm gonna wash my face really quick. I'm gonna only put on moisturizer today, and then that's it. I'm excited to see. Let's go. I honestly, so I wash my face. This is just uh, Dr. Bonner's face wash. I use the tea tree oil one and I dilute it a lot. I don't even know the ratio. I probably do like a third of soap and then the rest water. That's all I wash my face with. And that is the only product I put on my skin. That's it, I'm excited to see. Here, it's similar, but here looks more like pulled forward and you just look overall like brighter mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I And then like even it. like texture wise, I like go in like mm -hmm. there's more texture on the, like up here than yeah like in this area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bang. This is not as deep. So these are your main, and like, yeah. this is like your main. Yeah, I guess I feel like it's smoother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like even like I guess I do the cheek area. Maybe more. Fine, so yeah, you can actually see it mm -hmm. here more too. Did 
it, it's subtle, but it's, it is, yeah, mm-hmm. it's, yeah. I definitely see the difference. It's good. Oh yeah, I guess just like whatever, then you just need filler for the fix. Uh, yeah, I think like so to start to do like the teeny teeny like details, then just a tiny bit of filler in there where you have something like for density. It's actually FDA approved for like fine lines. Where leather fillers can be like too thick because we don't necessarily want to put like too much volume yeah. in there and make you look puffy. For sure. We just want to like tweak a little detail. Yeah. So doing like a little bit of filler just to uh, tweak that it would be perfect filler. Other than that, like, yeah. I mean, you have beautiful cheeks, you have a nice jawline, like you have beautiful yeah. features. Yeah. So I don't think you like, need cheek filler on yeah. anything like that. Yeah. I think it's just like a little bit of fine, mm-hmm. fine tweaking here. Like, I think we talked about like if, if the tanner didn't work, then sculpture would be the next step. Do you think that's still like a rush? Yeah, sculpture, so sculpture is going to build overall volume. So usually if I have somebody who's like really thin the face or just to kind of plump up the face, the sculpture is a great idea. Once again, it's not, it's going to help like in this area with like shadowing, same thing when you're shadowing. But okay, I just wrapped up my consult appointment. Just, I see differences, I do. Um, it was, I think $2,500 for the whole thing. So like it was a three set part as you saw. Um, and I believe it was $2,500 for all of the laser. Um, and then it comes with like the cream and stuff that you put on. So it was expensive. I do see enough of a result to where I think if I would have been in a worse case, I would have known a be- or seen a better difference. But like starting out, it really wasn't bad. I just really wanted like a little like pick me up. Um, and I really didn't want to do it with injections. I really don't want to inject anything in my face. And so to be fully transparent, I had cheek injections before and it just like completely made me look like an alien. So, and just like with my holistic approach, like I can't preach, be holistic and then inject like something in your face. It just doesn't make sense. And I don't want to be a hypocrite. I honestly want to practice what I preach and I just, that's not for me anymore. So something like a laser treatment, that's totally natural and just forces your body to create more collagen reproduction and all of that on its own. I'm all for it. So that's really the method I want to go. I am happy with my skin. I really am. I think where it is now compared to where it was five years ago is like night and day. I really don't have to worry about acne anymore. Um, I used to have like cystic acne, like deep scars. It just was really bad. If you go back to my playlist on my YouTube channel for my competition prep and my workout videos, and even like my pregnancy with Carter, my skin was horrendous. It was so bad. Um, Even like my body, it was like so bad. So where I'm at now and compared to then, I'm really happy with. I think my biggest problem area is you heard me talking to my Lisa at Elan about. It's just like my smile lines and I just kind of feel like I'm always frowning. Maybe like my husband tells me I look mad all the time. Maybe it is just like true resting bitch face that like I can't get away from. But I, whatever I need to do to like make it look like I am not pissed off 24 seven is what I want to do. So we're going to work on that. Maybe I just need to be happier. I don't know. Maybe I need to smile more. I really don't know. <laughs> But other than that, I am happy with it. It wasn't, in terms of pain, it was very minimal. In terms of downtime, it was very minimal. It was only like a couple of days of peeling. But other than that, I would have recommended it. I think like my mom's gotten um, a few laser treatments too and her before and after is absolutely incredible. So I think you kind of have to be starting from a certain point to see as big as a difference. So I'm not upset with the fact that I had such a subtle change, but the changes that I did have, I am really pleased with. I feel like there's just more volume. I have more bounce to my skin texture. It's a lot more brighter, a lot more even, and it did soften my smile lines quite a bit. So all in all, I am very pleased with it. I absolutely, if you're in the Tampa area, lot Aesthetics, anything you need there, go to them. I like, honestly, they are the best. Even for some ungodly reason I moved somewhere else, I would be flying back and going to Alon because I just put so much trust in them and they're just so incredible. And then Lisa, primarily, I just adore her. She is amazing. So I'm so thankful. I think they did a great job. And yeah, if you're looking for some type of treatment that's non-invasive, you're not injecting anything and you want just a little bit more tightening, a little bit more evening, I would re- recommend Fatana 4D Laser. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this channel. I hope this uh, gave you some clarity about what the process is. And if you're looking to get the Fortana 4D, I hope that this was helpful. If you're not already, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.